Hi, my name is Charlotta Pash. I'm responsible for the hype code at SMHI. This video is part of a series of videos on the code structure of the hydrological model hype. This part is focusing on the hype model. The previous video focused on the hydrological simulation system, HIS. This video part, the model part, concerns what happens in the model during one time step. The calculation order for the hype model is basically based on the water flow path. I will therefore first describe the water routing within the model. This is a simplified picture. Some flow paths have been excluded. The water flow in the soil and the local runoff from soil are calculated before any of the surface water. The local runoff flows through local streams and internal lakes, eye lakes, within the subbasin. The local flow then feeds into the regional routing that connects subbasins. The routing consists of main rivers and possibly outlet lakes, O lakes. The local flow enters the main river of its subbasin together with flow from upstream subbasins. The flow from the main river become inflow to the outlet lake, or in case of no lake, it goes directly to the next subbasin. The model subroutine calculates all hydrological processes for one time step. In principle, it calculates one subbasin at a time. The calculation order of subbasins is determined by the water flow order given in input data. Thus, the main part of calculations within the model subroutine is done in a subbasin loop, but there are exceptions. The picture shows the main computational steps of the model subroutine. The regional groundwater outflow from each subbasin and regional floodplain flows are calculated first. These flows do not necessarily follow the order of subbasins and are therefore not possible to calculate within the main subbasin loop. Soil calculations are the first in the main subbasin loop. All classes with soils are calculated. These include glaciers, floodplains, and wetlands. Within the class loop, soil processes are calculated. This include, for example, calculation of snow, percolation of water in soil, runoff and irrigation, groundwater table, denitrification and other nutrient transformation processes in the soil. Soil output variables, for instance soil moisture, are accumulated over classes and at the end of the class loop a subbasin average is calculated. Next are the surface water calculations. The local flows and processes in internal wetlands, local streams and internal lakes are calculated first and then the processes in regional network, main river and outlet lakes and wetland. River, inflow processes and outflow are calculated. For the main river, also interaction with floodplain are considered. Lake inflow processes and outflow of internal lakes are calculated. Example of processes are precipitation and atmospheric deposition, nutrient transformation. For an outlet lake, interaction with floodplains is an additional process. An outlet wetland can be simulated instead of an outlet lake. The calculated outlet lake water level and outflow may be updated with observations. 
Last in the subbasin loop, subbasin average values are calculated and the subbasin results are transferred to specific output variables that will be available to his. Additional output preparations are done after the main subbasin loop as well as calculation of aquifers. Thank you for listening. The next part will be about Fortran files and modules.